Well, hello, boys and girls. We're back again with another story. And uh, do you know something, Alfie? Yes, I'm going to tell you. It's Thursday again. We're a day late for the second week running. Shall I tell you why, boys and girls? I went looking for Alfie again yesterday and I couldn't find him. You were being helpful. Right. Well, last week, if I remember, you were helping to catch a hamster. So what was it this week? You were with Charlie. Oh, right. So what are you doing with Charlie? You're helping him. Right. So what are you helping him to do? He's getting ready for school. Of course, it's school next week, isn't it? And Charlie's getting ready for school. He's getting quite excited. Yeah, I know a lot of boys and girls are getting excited at the moment because you haven't been to school for a long time. You haven't seen your friends. So it's going to be good to catch up with them all again and get back to some sort of normality. You wish you could go to school. Well, I don't think dogs are allowed in school, so you can't go. But imagine, Alfie, if there was no school at all. Yes, there would be a lot of sad children. Because although boys and girls say, I don't like school, actually they do. And when they can't go, they miss a lot of things. Well, actually, Alfie, today I've got a story about somebody who didn't go to school. No, it's not because they were naughty, they hadn't been excluded. No, there wasn't a school for her to go to. Shall we start? Has it got a happy ending? Yes, it's got a very happy ending. More than you would think. OK, let's start the story. Actually, this story takes place in Wales. And uh, it happened a long, long time ago. This was before the days that there were schools for all boys and girls to go to. And this little girl, her name was Mary Jones. And she lived in a little village in the middle of Wales, over towards the west coast. And, uh, well, Mary didn't have a school to go to. There was no school in the village. And she just grew up helping her mum and dad and longing to be able to read and write. You see, every Sunday she would go with her mum and dad to the chapel and she'd listen to the stories from the Bible and she loved the Bible stories. But she used to think, oh, I wish I could read for myself, that I could read all these lovely stories on my own. But she couldn't. And she was quite sad about it. One day, her dad came up to her and said, Mary, I've got the most amazing news for you. He said, the, the man who is the leader down at the chapel, he's going to start a Sunday school, a school on Sunday. And he's going to teach anyone who wants to, to learn to read and write. Well, Mary was so excited. She couldn't wait. And every Sunday she would be there at the chapel, learning her letters, learning how to put them together and read. And of course, her language was Welsh, so she was learning to speak and read and write in Welsh. Bit by bit, it was slow, but bit by bit, bit she was able to read until she was the best reader in the class. But she still didn't have a Bible to read from. Bibles were very scarce, especially in Welsh. One day, one of her neighbours, Mrs Evans, said to her, Mary, if you like, and if you're very careful, you can come to my house and read my Bible. What do you think Mary said? Yes, she did. She said, oh, I'd love to, Mrs Evans. And every day when she'd finished her work, she'd go down to Mrs Evans's and she'd read the Bible. Oh, it was so exciting. She loved every minute of it. But then she thought, oh, I wish I had a Bible of my own. <clears throat> so she asked her dad, Dad, can I get a Bible? He said, oh, Mary, Bibles are very hard to get hold of and they're very expensive. Well, she says, I'm going to try. So she went and talked to the man who was the leader down at the chapel and he said, well, there is a man who has some Welsh Bibles. He lives in the town of Bala, 
which is a long long walk it was about 25 miles away and there were no buses or trains or cars in those days but they're very expensive mary well she says i'm going to save up for one and she did she found all the jobs she could do gathering sticks gathering eggs and selling them looking after little babies sewing and mending and bit by bit her money pot got bigger and bigger and bigger it took a long time how do you, long do you think it took oh a lot more than a month more than a year it took six years until finally mary had enough and she said to her mum and dad because she wasn't a little girl now she was a teenager she said mum dad i'm going to bala to buy a bible all right they said and off she went it was a long long walk and finally when she got to bala the sun was just going down well she had somewhere where she could stay at somebody that her mum and dad knew and she stayed with them that night but the first thing in the morning she ran to reverend charles's house and knocked upon the door and he came to the door and she said reverend charles i've come to buy a bible here's my money and reverend charles looked at mary and his face went very very sad mary he said i haven't got any bibles they've all gone oh mary was so sad she cried yes it does have a happy ending just wait and reverend charles looked at her and said mary you've worked so hard for this bible you deserve one i'm going to give you this bible i promised it to somebody else but i'll have to find another one for him this is yours and he gave it to her well she hugged it as if it was the best thing she ever had and all the way home she ran most of the way she was thinking i've got my bible and you know she read that bible every day of her life and if you go to bala there's a museum there and you can actually see the bible that mary jones bought it's still there but you know alfie that's not the end of the story because reverend charles started thinking about mary and he thought to himself it's not right that welsh people can't have bibles that they can afford and he went and talked to some very important men leaders of churches he said you know we have to find bibles for our people bibles they can afford that aren't expensive and there they formed something called the british and foreign bible society that printed bibles that people could afford to buy but then one man stood up and he said why only wales why not the whole world and from there it spread right throughout the world and today there are 140 bible societies throughout the world all producing bibles so people can read them and that alfie i think is a very happy ending you like that ending that's great you know boys and girls the bible is a great book it's got some great stories and we're very lucky because we can get them quite easily i wonder if you've got a bible in your house or a bible story book why not read it sometime or have a look in your school library and see for yourself find out some of the stories they really are good thanks for being with us see you again soon bye for now